Hello everybody, this is Andy, and welcome to another episode of Greg Tech New Horizons. This is episode 15. Wait, is this episode 15? Is this episode 16? I need to check. Alright, yes, this is episode 16. We're getting up in the numbers so far that uh, I don't really remember what episode we're on, but uh, that's fine. I'm breeding my cows right now because I brought a couple over with a golden lasso that I got in a... Um, Loot box, usually you can't bring cows to the Twilight Forest just by pushing in the portal. Uh, trust me, I tried. I do want cows here though, so I brought a couple over and I'm slowly going to breed them up to use for food production. We also have an entirely full lunchbox ready to go. It's not the best food, but it's also pretty cool food. And you may have just noticed a little flickering right there on the wall. That is Optifine. I installed Optifine, and you, if you install Optifine with Greg New Horizons, you have to install FastCraft 1.25, I believe. The base game loads with 1.23. It's literally just a, a pure upgrade, so, you know, do that. But, uh, you know, I have Dynamic Torches now, which will help with the Hardcore Darkness in the normal dimension, so I can just kind of, you know, have a, have a torch whenever I go explore a cave. However, uh, you know, the thing we've all been waiting for. Let's go ahead and craft up this brewing stand and finish up polyethylene. I went around, I found a uh, at least one source for each type of V. I believe two for all of them, if I'm remembering correctly. However, now we can make the brewing that or the brewery that we need to make the polyethylene. And there we have it. Our first brewery made the uh, the long way, but uh, it's okay. We can now shove this guy right here, I believe, and he can begin producing biomass out of plant materials. So here he is very, very slowly doing his thing. I'm feeding him with water from this guy, and I have a feeling that this water tank isn't really gonna keep up for too much longer. I did make a ton of bread in here, so maybe that sucked a bunch of water, but um, this thing might not keep up. We might have to give it a, a light, a skylight, but uh, yeah, that's okay. This system is gonna produce ethanol incredibly slowly because I'm only using one brewery right now. Maybe I'll upgrade to like eight in the future, but for now, um, one is enough. I don't need that much polyethylene, and this will probably run overnight or something, so we'll definitely fill up this tank and the buffer in here, which is perfectly good enough. However, next we need to set up the actual polyethylene, and that has to be run at MV in a chemical reactor. So the way we're gonna have to do this is just like this we're gonna have to put one in in the fluid slot and one in with cells and i think i'm gonna use um cells for sulfuric acid maybe yeah i think i'm gonna use cells for sulfuric acid because we should never run out of sulfuric acid before we run out of ethanol so there will always be some cells in here and i will never be waiting and wondering where the heck all of the stuff that's supposed to go in the chemical reactor is going to go so let me grab those things let me set up those item pipes and i'll be back in just a moment and there's the wiring. I know it looks a mess because it is a mess. However, I can, like, mentally, I can only be clean when I can run pipes in the same block space. So this is just how pipes are going to work in this factory. Hey, it, it gets the job done. And as soon as we get to one bucket of ethanol in here, we're going to produce, I believe, one bucket of ethylene. Is that correct? Yes, it is. And we're going to get a little bit of diluted sulfuric acid cells. So let's go ahead and reprocess. Let's set, actually, let's set up reprocessing for diluted sulfuric acid using um, both these cells and the uh, hydrogen sulfide we have sitting up there because we're starting to fill up. All right, and as soon as this program circuit goes in, because I put the wrong one in first, we should be beginning. Is this really, what? It, what? Maybe this will work? Come on, dude, why isn't this? This, this is an MV recipe, this is an MV chemical reactor. I know it's getting power, I can see it. I can see it getting power. What's wrong? Okay, I figured it out. For some reason, I unintentionally messed up my battery buffer, so it was facing the wrong direction. Yeah, that's one. that one's on me. Um, however, we're going to get our first thing of polyethylene, and I need to figure out how to store this, as well as reprocessing. And there we go. It is done, and it looks like the cell auto-exported into here, which is honestly not where I want it to go so i'm not going to be able to auto export i think directly back however maybe we can find another tank okay 
here is the basics of the reprocessing. Also, um, I'm ke I keep stealing combustion generators from over here because I'm too lazy to make one, so we're down to one combustion generator on this line. However, I don't think I ever run more than one machine here at once, so hopefully we'll be fine. I might need to add another one later, but that's not an issue for right now, Andrew. This is a problem for later, Andrew. So if I put that in there, it should reprocess into a little bit of sulfuric acid, which we can shove. Ooh, I should have positioned this a little bit better I can pull out the back and the top okay so I need to pull the no I literally just have to shove the fluid back in here somehow okay we're just about to run a cycle and I think we're gonna be good to go okay I have reprocessed a bunch of that everything should be going into here after it finishes chemical reacting right here and this process is slightly slow however once this finishes we should see that everything functions fine right after I oh no um we actually have an issue I can't pump out of the front face of Gregtech machines Okay, but let's see that everything else works fine. So this should, should, wow, I can't speak, should create the ethylene. The diluted sulfuric acid cell should get sent right over here eventually. Yep, there it is. Okay, and this empty cell should get sent back in just a moment. Uh, we still have a little bit of diluted sulfuric acid left because I need to send this sulfur, sulfuric acid over there. And come on, pull out the cell. I know this uh, this exporter is really slow, but it should do it and send it directly over here to get filled again, and then we should end up with 15 more right in here. Okay, that was perfect. Um, let me rewire this slightly, and then I'll be right back. And there we have it. Is it very pretty? No, it's absolutely disgusting, and I hate every single piece of it. However, it is fully functional, and there are only two inputs in order to make polyethylene. I need to put plant material in here every once in a while, and I need to put sulfur dust in here from time to time, and I don't think that'll be very uh, often. It should be fairly scarce because I've only used a little bit of sulfur so far, and we've made a lot of sulfuric acid and byproducts that will eventually become sulfuric acid. And we already have three whole buckets of ethylene with another one on the way. So that's uh, pretty good. That'll come in handy as soon as we're attempting to make... Wait, hold on. We haven't finished processing yet. We need to make polyethylene. You know what? Let's call that good enough for now. I'm actually going to go to sleep in a couple of minutes, and in a few moments later, you will be able to hear a very tired voice, Andrew, that you saw in the last video. However, that's just kind of... Uh, how it's gotta be. I have to record at weird times because I have so many things to do now that I'm back in college. However, I think we're going to finish uh, that production line at the end of the episode. However, I want to do a little bit more Thomcraft and a little bit more Thomcraft research because I'm actually enjoying it quite a bit and I have a lot of things to claim in here. Oh man, I've never done this before. Um, however, I want to move into... Uh, I've already done that. I want to move into improving our wand. So we're going to need gold caps, which means we're probably going to need to do some more research in here. Um, I'm going to look through here, and then I'm probably going to go to bed, and then we'll figure stuff out. Also, I want to get the enchanting table soon, but uh, yeah, that's fine. Um, I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. All right, it's uh, now the next day, and we have a total of only nine buckets of ethylene because I'm a big dummy and didn't put any more plant matter in here, so it just literally stopped producing the ethanol. So I'll probably uh, fill that chest up and uh, we'll uh, let it run for a while. However, let's go ahead and set up... Wait, didn't I already make the chemical reactor? Oh, it's right here, yes. Uh, we're going to set up this chemical reactor right here so we can make it the uh, the ethylene we're producing into polyethylene, and then we'll store that in a tank probably... Or Wait, I have a fluid solidifier, don't I? Yeah, I, I do. I have an extra fluid solidifier. So we can just automatically solidify the polyethylene into... What do we want it as? Do we want it as ingots or do we want it as plates? Okay, I think I pretty much have it set up. We just need a circuit on configuration 1 into the chemical reactor, and everything should begin working. Okay, yep, slowly but surely, and hopefully when this finishes, it'll get pumped directly out to the left into the fluid solidifier. Looks like it did, and now it's turning into ingots, and now it gets stored right here. Okay, perfect. So now we are slowly but surely producing polyethylene. And what I want to see here is these empty cells get sucked out from the right side over here and into here 
and sent back in. Yep, there they go. Okay, perfect. I was I was literally about to cut. I almost pressed the button. Hey, here, Brian was here. And they get filled up, and then they should get pushed out the top, right? Yep, there it goes. Okay, everything seems to be working. Everything should be back in here very soon. Yeah, yep, okay. Everything seems to be working. Perfect. I also got a couple pieces of polyethylene pulp from a quest reward, so I think I'm just going to go ahead and smelt this up and shove it into uh, the barrel as well. So we just have all our polyethylene in one singular place. Also, weird thing that happened, for some reason all of my chests got mixed up. I'm not quite sure how this happened. Um, I think it might be a warp effect because we're about to get a lot of thomcraft done and I decided to do something fairly cheaty. So, I did a little bit of research, however, I decided to cheat in the Cheater's Thalmanomicon, which is something that gives you unlocks for every single research in the entire pack. This is just, honestly, this is an unreasonable amount of research to do, so I'm not going to do any of it, I guess. Uh, however, you know, we're still going to have to make all these things, we're going to have to go through all the Thalmcraft progression, it just changes the stuff that we can unlock. So like, oh man, I can craft an enchanting table now. That's still, that's a lot of work right there. It, it just saves me a little bit of trouble. Ooh, ender pouches, these look nice. They're gated behind IV though, that's less fun. What I want to start doing is getting into better wands and getting a very, very good magic staff. This, uh, this thing can hold, wait, a uh, great wood, wait, I couldn't find it. But I do want to make a staff because they hold a ton of aspects that we can use to do things. And the thing that I want to do is get this in advanced node jarring unlocked as soon as possible. We need 125 of each aspect in our wand. However, if we can pick up maybe, I don't know, it's going to take a while, but like nine-ish nodes, we can create one super node that will have all the aspects we'll ever need. This is going to require a lot of warded glass, which is glass, that's not that hard, thaumium, which is slightly harder, and amber, which... I've already got a ton of. You can create it with amber dust, I guess, or you can find, or wait. Oh, interesting. Uh, well, you can find amber in multiple different ways, and other processing also happens in that same manner. Uh, we need great wood logs, or wait, those are silver wood. Those are not great wood. I guess it really doesn't matter. But first things first, we need to upgrade our wand. And the first step to doing that is to getting the gold caps. And that is not master. Um, it's not in here. We need these. This is just this and a little bit of aspects, which I'll have to go gather. Well, um, I guess the warp effects are decorating my base for me. I really hope they don't destroy tile entities. It'd be really upset. I'd be so upset if one of these like combustion generators over here got replaced with a water block because warp is just the worst. But if it's just like putting water and lily pads down, I really don't care. It, it kind of looks cool. Anyway, I went ahead and crafted up all the stuff we need for two of these. However, we're only going to be able to craft one right now because our wand can only hold so much V. So I'm going to need more or orgo. Or, or dough, ignis, and air. So let me go grab that, and I'll be right back. This great wood tree has been here for a very long time. However, we need it now. So uh, we're gonna chop it with our big boy. And I have a bad feeling this isn't gonna chop, uh... yeah, it's not gonna chop all the wood. However, I think, <laughs> I think we might just have a floating tree in our base for a little while because I don't wanna deal with that right now. And right here we have the, go in there, other gold cap. Now I just, looked up the recipe of the thing that I want to make, and I'm a little bit not the most pleased with it. I don't know if we're actually, I don't know how gated this is going to be actually. So let's go ahead and take a look at the gold banded great wood wand. It has a capacity of 50 for each aspect, which is fairly good. Actually, wait, there has to be a different wand in between now. I must be skipping a wand. Okay, it actually looks like this is the one we're going to need to make worst. I have the Lich Bones, I need to make the Iron Caps, those are really, really easy. I can make this if I just gather Aspects one more time, and I need to make just a little bit of Stainless Steel, which I think will be feasible. Stainless Steel, you just need to blast Stainless Steel Dust, which is made of Nickel, Chrome, and Manganese. Manganese is going to be the issue. Chrome can be gotten from um, just uh, electrolyzing, what is it, Cinnabar or Ruby? I think it's Ruby. We're going to need to get this from 
So I've done a little bit of looking and it kind of seems like the best method for get do I not have any ruby? I swear I have ruby. I've definitely mined ruby. I only have 26 and oh I used it all for the um oh what was it? I used it all for the aluminum silicate because that's what I chose to make the cooper nickel out of. However, that might have been a bad idea. Um, okay, we're going to need to mine more ruby. We're going to need to go mine a redstone vein. We have a bunch of redstone veins. That's perfectly fine. Um, however, we're going to need to find one of these grossular veins, which I think I've probably found before. They only spawn in the nether overworld and uh, not here. So I'm going to go check in the overworld, see if we have any, and I'll be right back. So instead of doing work and finding the stuff to electrolyze into manganese, I just bought eight ores from the uh, the coin shop because you can literally just do that right here. It's only available once every 40 minutes. However, we only need like 11 pieces of it right now. So that's perfectly fine. Now I just need to wash it in here. Come on, stop bouncing. Thank you. Come over to my handy dandy crafting table and craft up 99 pieces of stainless steel. Oh wait. No, that's 96 pieces of stainless steel. No, wait, that is 88 pieces of stainless steel. Okay, what does this have to be blasted at? It can be blasted, oh, it has to be blasted at HV. So we're going to have to upgrade our blast furnace to, instead of using four of these LV combustion generators and two LV inputs, we're going to need, what? Four, wait four mv combustion generators and two mv inputs that sounds like a lot of work i'm gonna do it but uh i might give it a second you know let myself uh <laughs> deal with the possibility or the reality of the situation but also we've created two and a quarter stacks of polyethylene bars which is really really nice that should last us quite a bit i think you only use oh sorry bud Where'd you go? Uh, I only use half an ingot per like circuit or whatever, and you make them like two at a time if we're making these, right? I think so. Well, um, I think we've just found ourselves in a disgusting rabbit hole that is going to take multiple episodes to resol resolve. Um, the one thing I am very happy about is like unlike Omnifactory, this pack doesn't use higher tier um, or circuits to make the same tier uh, assembler. So we can make this right now if we want to. However, we're going to need a couple other things. We're going to need a brewery to make lubricant. We're going to need advanced pre precision laser engraver with a, I don't know, a uh, lens of some sort. We're going to need an advanced cutting machine because we're going to have to cut things at MV. I think every single thing can be cut at MV, but only a very select few can be cut at um, LV. Also, I made these. Uh, I, I forgot to show you guys, but I made a couple of these in our blast furnace and I cut them into wafers. So we can use those down the line. We need to make all those things because I need to make ultra low power IC wafers. These are made in the precision laser engraver with a couple of different lens. I guess Terra lens is probably what we'll go for because we can make this right now. It's just um, nine of these earth shards or Terra shards. Um, and... In order to reasonably make all of these machines that we're going to need to make at MV, I think it's time to upgrade our circuit production. So to do that, I'm going to start making microprocessors for our tier 1 circuits, and those are going to be made, hopefully, with this recipe. So I need to make these three guys, So which, which also means I'm going to need to make polyvinyl chloride from polyvinyl chloride sheets, so we'll tab that in there. Uh, I also need to get a source of tantalum which I don't quite know how to get yet. I also need to, I can get carbon fairly easily. I need to get a better source of gallium. So that's, um, that's some stuff. So gallium can literally just be done in the, gallium effectively comes from sphalerite. However, in order to get a decent amount of sphalerite, or we can, I guess we can use zinc too. In order to get a decent amount of sphalerite, or um, gallium from this processing step, we're going to want to make Galvania leaves, which is, uh, I think, IC2 crop stuff, which I've never done before. So we're going to have fun doing that. So this is our progression right now. And I think the first step is going to be making this, uh, well, it's going to be making a couple of combustion generators, and then we're going to set up our advanced assembling machine and get working on these other machines right here. All right. Um, 
I don't really know where I left off, but it's been a good couple hours and I'm completely flat broke. We have no more circuits of any kind. Uh, I've used up all of my resources here. We're running low on aluminum compared to what I had and a little bit less on steel, but not quite so much. Everything else is doing fairly okay. Might need to go mining for iron soon and plates are not looking too hot either. Got a couple of diamonds though, so you know, that that's like one good thing, I guess. Um, but over here, you can see we now have an MV line. It's full of annealed copper cable, which is better than normal copper cable, so I started using it around the base. We're going to need to make some more annealed copper soon anyways. Um, I made up four of these advanced combustion generators to power this line, and since these guys only have one EU per tick, or e one EU per meter loss, we can run cables uh, like in a straight line. For a little while, we can maybe shove like 10 machines on here and it'll be completely fine. Um, okay, so what I did is make this Terra lens as well as the advanced precision laser engraver, an advanced extruder, and an advanced cutting machine, and advanced lathe. Uh, the lathe was necessary to make this Terra lens out of a Terra block or plate which was made from a block and all yada 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 okay cool uh where you need to cut a couple of these and turn these into the ultra low power ic circuits and turn those into some nv energy input hatches so we can smelt up our stainless steel and i know that was quite a bit but uh, yeah, I just didn't want to show all that in camera, so I just spent a couple hours crafting everything up, and uh, here we are. It's not very fun to watch me gather materials and craft mach machines, so um, <laughs> yeah, we're going to need to do more batch crafting soon in the very near future. But it looks like we're starting to fill out the MV tab nicely. So I also have this. For some reason, it never, it never completed the quest is what I'm trying to say, so I'm going to go pick that up. I think the issue probably was that I made this before I made the cutting machine, so I placed this down, and then I placed, or then I made this, which completed the quest before it. I think, right? Yeah. So that that was an issue. Um, now we can also make IC wafers and RAM wafers. These are both necessary to make the better circuits, but we're not really going to deal with that right now. We want to make the energy inputs, so let's make them. Also, since I'm just now realizing this medium voltage coil, which is used in the MV energy hatches, has to be made in an MV assembler, I'm slowly crafting up all the circuits that we need to make an MV assembler. I need 12 of the normal ones, and I have most of the materials that I need for it. I just need to do all the crafting, and hopefully we'll be ready to go soon. Crafting up this bad boy was a straight up pain. However, I'm glad I have uh, access to better recipes for arsenic and, well, I guess I don't have a better recipe, recipe for gallium yet, but arsenic was the main issue. I can now get it from cobaltite, I think, is what I was using. I don't know, I crafted up a bunch of it a while ago. So now we have this advanced assembly machine, which, wait, does that have, wait, does that have more slots than the uh, LV assembling machine? Oh, it does. Huh. That must be a thing for this pack, unless unless I've just never noticed that before. This has got to be new. Well, anyways, if I gather up some fine aluminum wire, which I think can be made at LV, yes it can, and a couple of magnetic steel rods, which I already have in my chest right here, I think, right? Uh, yep, so I need two of them and a bunch of aluminum. Now let's see just how fast this baby can run. That's, um... Not as fast as I was expecting, however, I guess this isn't a standard recipe. If I were to make like electric motors in the, the lower tier one, in this one, maybe it'd be a different story. But, uh, yeah. This advanced cutting machine, though, is quite an upgrade. I have lubricant in here now, and it's at MV, so this should be... It's pretty fast. Compared to what it was, it, it's like 10 seconds faster, I'd say. And this lathe is pretty quick, might I add. That's how fast the aluminum screws used to go in that lathe with like one of the harder materials. Well, here's our first MV energy input hatch, which I guess is a, wow, uh, a big, big, big achievement apparently. Um, this is our first one. I forgot to make enough coils for the, uh, the next one because I forgot each one uses two and I need two of them. And yeah. At least this one isn't like some huge deal that I forgot about, like some big time sink. It's literally just like a minute of annoying waiting for this slow wire mill. All right, here is the second MV Energy Input Hatch. A little bit less celebration for this one than the last one. However, this does mean we can now form this multi-block, right? Yep, there we go. Use the wire cutters not to connect there, but to connect there. And this should 
consider running. Right? Right? Perhaps we give it a little poke and maybe it'll start going. It looks like it started. And hopefully it sucked up one of these. It did suck up one of these. We're about to get our first stainless steel. And well, there we go. Our first six pieces of stainless steel. That's actually really, really good. I um haven't finished all of the quests to actually get to stainless steel. I'm not really sure where that goes. And I guess it wants me to make an extruder here. And it wants me to make every single extruding thing. Yeah, that's just not happening. Sorry, bud. Um... I need to make a vending machine, I assume, yeah, I didn't ever have robot arms in my inventory, so I don't have this quest, which I'm going to have to unlock soon, eh, it's a little bit of a mess, but it's okay. I'm probably actually just going to give myself one of these, so I can complete the quest and then throw it away, just because uh, I don't really want to make another one right now, and I kind of want to see where I need to go next. Alright, I went ahead and gave myself that robot arm and also one of these pumps because I also made a couple of those in the process of making the uh, energy input hatches. I think so, right? Those needed that. Wait, I still have it right here. Uh, yes, okay. So, we didn't cheat too hard. Um, however, that didn't really open up anything substantial for me. I do want to make some of these. These are really good looking um, and fairly cheap actually. I might make a bunch of these to go shove in my oil pump so I can do less trips over there. And um, yeah, we are slowly working our way through. I did, oh yeah, yeah, I forgot to mention. Uh, that's the other part of this clip that I was going to do. I made up this ruby lens and this... Um, in here the green sapphire lens which are both going to be used to make uh the integrated and the ram wafers which we both need so i'm going to cut up 32 of the, or i guess precision engrave wait hold on um i don't want to do that because it can't right now i will do that later when my stainless steel has finished processing but the fact remains i am going to cut up 32 into integrated and 32 into ram and everything is going to be nice and beautiful before we go ahead and end it off for today, I went ahead and collected all of our rewards from our quests, and let's go ahead and open a bunch of them. Manganese, that's quite useful. Um, redstone torches, kind of useless. Ooh, those, that's a good, that's a good reward right there. Uh, aluminum, not very useful. Digger's backpack, that's really nice, and an apiary. Um, oh, diodes are nice to have. That's a lot of things right there. I don't think I need any of these. I might, I might literally just throw these away right now. Okay, what's next? Door factory. What do you do? Hold on, what do you do? You can just create doors. And you can give them locks. Very interesting. Okay, I uh, don't think we're ever going to use that, but it's kind of a cool thing to have. Slimy. Oh, that's so good. That's so good. That actually makes me... Holy crap. Wait, I can't plant this though. I need uh, slimy, slimy dirt. Eh, it's okay. Um, I'm very happy to have that. And a coated circuit board and a creeper head. Interesting. Applicable up to 04 redstone. So that means it's tier. I don't really know what that means. Let's check out this digger's backpack. I've never actually used these before. I assume that just means it's going to pick up stuff like stone. Yeah, okay. So now when I go mining, I can pick up all of my junk that I don't need in here. I might actually make a miner's backpack as well because these aren't actually all that hard to make. And uh, that will pick up all my ores. That'll be really useful. All right, um, I think that's going to be it for this episode. I don't really have any more time and I don't really have the mental strength to continue on. However, you may have noticed that I have started looking at this ME stuff. Um, I don't think it's too, too far out of reach. We are going to have to go to the moon. We are going to have to get better circuits and we are going to need to make just a little tiny bit of titanium and we're gonna have to make things like the cryogenic freezer and uh, i think a, like a what this requires like an implosion compressor we have a lot of multi-blocks to make however very soon we should be able to begin thinking about the future of uh being able to store all things all our things in one place instead of just kind of all over the place. Also, I have night vision for a couple more seconds because I opened a common treasure from Thalmcraft. However, I think that's going to be everything for today, and I hope you guys did enjoy. I oh, There goes the night vision. Um, I don't know what we're going to do next time. Hopefully it's a lot. We'll see. Um, however, have a fantastic day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.